Welcome to ElectroArc, my name is Ed Samples and today what we're going to demonstrate for you is our Model 3S Portable Metal Disintegrator. Uh, the way we have this set up today is we've got our, our portable arcer head is chucked up into our drill press and um, basically our arcer head just comes with a half inch by two inch shank so you can chuck it up into like a drill press here or a CNC machine, drill press, lathe, any type of those machine tools. Um, we just have a, a block here uh, for just to simulate a part and we've got a 3 8 inch tap and this is about an inch deep here. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll break off the tap and then we'll take it right back out. Okay, so here's our 3 8 inch tap. It's about an inch deep and we're just gonna break it off here. So there we go. Okay, so here is our 3S power supply and all we have here is just the basic power supply in, a, in our small roll around cabinet uh, for easy portability. And that comes with a built in coolant tank and we just have our heat selector knob right here, um, which all of our machines will come with a chart that will tell you exactly which heat setting to use for each uh, broken tap or drill, whatever you may be trying to take out. So then all we'll need to do is switch on power. Um, as far as our alignment here, all you want to do is eyeball this, center your electrode over the broken tooling, in this case a tap, because um, all we're going to do is take out the core and leave the flutes behind. So you just want to make sure it's centered over that, which it is. So we can now lower our splash bag. Put a rag around there just for some extra splash protection and we're ready to go. Okay, so as we disintegrate down, just a little additional information about this particular machine we're using today, the Model 3S. Um, this is one of our smallest, uh, most portable machines that we have, and this specific machine is going to be great for your small job shops, um, uh, anyone needing to take out uh, high-speed steel, taps, bolts, drills, pins, uh, any type of tooling, uh, you know, like that. And uh, this machine is going to have a 3 KBA and that's going to let you take out taps up to a 3 8 inch diameter in a single pass. Um, so it's a great power supply, it's great versatility, um, you know, can get quite a bit done for you. Uh, and then, as you can see, you know, it's small, uh, it's going to be easy to move around the shop, it's going to have a quick setup and breakdown, uh, so one person can easily move this around the shop, set it up, uh, and work with it. Um, Maintenance wise, uh, that's always a common question, you know, what do I have to do with these machines? Really, there's nothing for you to really worry about as far as maintenance. You just want to keep fresh coolant going through it. Um, this machine, you know, our, our process is uh, basically, you know, you're removing the center out of the broken tooling. Um, so you're always going to just undersize the electrode compared to the diameter of what you're trying to take out. Um, you know, so for example, you know, a tap, you're going to use about half the diameter of the tap size. Uh, so that way your, the electrode is never coming into contact with your part or the thread, which is why there's never any damage to those parts. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of sparking going on, but this is perfectly safe to touch while it's in operation. You're not going to get shocked or burned or anything um, by the machine. It's completely safe. And you just want to monitor this LED system, make sure we're staying in the green to yellow range. Sounds like we're through. Okay, so you can see that we still just have the flutes and the core. So all we need to do is use our magnetic pick and pull those out and then we can run a new tap through here and we'll be all set to go. Okay, so we've uh, got these taps here. So all we do is just break them free from the sides and we pull off. There's the flute and the core of the, uh, of the tap we took out. And then we have a hole there. Now all we need to do is just run a new tap through here. 
This will just clean out any small debris that might have been left in the threads. And as you can see, the tap goes in there. Pretty smooth. And it's all the way back through. So now your hole and your part are ready for reuse.